guys, it's guys, and today I will teach you how to make the easiest homemade pizza from scratch. And you will only need 5 ingredients to make the dough. At napakadali lang hanapin yung mga ingredients ito. Probably nasa kitchen na siya. And if you want to know how I make it, just keep on watching. So the things that you will need are um, two and a half cups of flour. I mine is all-purpose flour, but you can use red flour as well. Next is um, two teaspoons of sugar. I choose brown sugar, but you can use any kind of sugar. Next is the um, one teaspoon of instant yeast. Kung hindi niyo po alam kung saan makakabili ng instant yeast, probably nasa uh, baking shops or nasa grocery niyo. Next is half a teaspoon of salt. Um, preferably iodized salt. But next is for the wet ingredients naman ay yung one cup of water and then two tablespoons of oil. Okay. Tapos ang mga kailangan nyo namang mga kagamitan ay spatula or any kind of mixing uh, thing and then a bowl. Kakailangan nyo din po ito mamamaya is back up oil and then back up flour. Um, manalaman nyo kung para sa yan. So, ang gagawin natin muna ay ilalagay ang mga dry ingredients which is the two and a half cups of flour. Oh, of course, by the way, um, bago nyo gawin to, dapat you already wash your hands and nakasanitize na yung table. So, it's done. Ilalagyan natin ang instant yeast. Sugar. Salt. Need to mix your dry ingredients well before you add um, the wet ingredients. Ayan. Ilalagyan natin ang ating um, wet ingredients which are the water and the oil. And then, mix them together. Pag nahihirapan kayo i-mix yung mixture, um, I suggest na gradually um, add water so you can mix it thoroughly. Pag nakikita nyo nang nag-form yung dough, you can actually get your hands on it. So, uh, i- Nisin ko lang akong workspace. And, I will put this to the side. You can actually still mix that, but um, para sa akin, mas maganda pag ninid mo na. So, you'll get your um, extra flour and put it in your table para hindi magstick. I suggest when you're doing this, uh, kumukay ng chair or umukay sa chair kasi this might take a while. So, that, um, ilalagay ko na ang dough sa table. Like I said, dapat malinis ang table mo para hindi madumihan ang food. So, knead the dough carefully. Um, to knead the dough, you can put them all together like this and then press. Ipunas nyo lang yung dough. Punin nyo ng lahat ng floor and ubusin. Now that our dough is a lot smoother, kukuha tayo ng extra water to put. Uh, about um, one tablespoon, ganun. Kasi pag shinretch mo siya, hindi siya ganun ka-stretchable and hindi, you cannot see through it a little bit. 
right? So, gagawin natin is gagawa tayo ng maliit na vulkan. Though, okay, no, like that. And then, add a little water. About a tablespoon. And then, mix it. Tsaka, kailangan mo maging soft ang iyong dough. Para pag tinain mo siya, soft and bouncy ang kakalabasan. At first, super slime siya. And then, magiging sticky. And then, magiging soft na siya. You can do this once or twice until you're, uh, you're satisfied with the softness of the dough. Softer na siya. At hindi na siya ganun ka-sticky, which is good. And it's what we want. You can keep kneading this, but pag nahihirapan talaga kayo, just sprinkle a little bit of flour. But, don't put a lot of flour. Because if you do, titikas na naman siya. This is dough. It's very soft. Tingnan nyo guys, pag pinres ko ng konti ka nun, kinda nag-rise back siya. So, yun ang gusto natin. At pag chin stretch natin ng ganito, the light can come through nang hindi masyado nag break. Okay. Ito muna guys. Bago muna magsalita, sabihin ko muna sa inyo ang gagawin. Isishape nyo yung dough nyo into a ball. Huwag nyo yung ganito yun kasi that's not good. Just like do this. Now, set it aside. Dito na dalating ang iyong extra oil. With your spatula, tanggal natin. With your spatula, dip your spatula, and then coat the bowl with oil. Bakit? Kasi, pag nilagay natin yung dough dyan, mag-rise siya. Mag-double yung size. Kasi, nandun yung yeast. So, with the help of yeast, the dough will will double its size and become bigger. Kaya, hindi na kailangan napakadaming gumawa ng dough. Kasi, magdodoble na siya. Now, dip your hands with a little bit of oil. Kung gusto nyo, pwede nyo i-spread um, nyo lang yung oil with your hands. But, no. And then, coat the dough with oil. So, I have plain wrap here. Um, Kung hindi nyo alam ang wrap, it's also known as saran wrap. So, just take the ends. And then, wrap. Kung wala kayong cling wrap, um, another good way to do is use a cloth. Alam niyo yung parang lampin? Yeah. Use that. Hi okay guys. So, pinaalsa ko na siya for about 12 hours. Um, because it's the next day, so ganito na siya. Ang laki na niya. So, ang gagawin naman natin is we're going to chop up the cheese and also the meat. Gawin nyo is buhatin nyo siya and then stretch. Hindi nyo po kailangan ng madaming um, like spaghetti sauce. Next na ilalagay ko is the cheddar cheese. The grated cheese. Okay, ang susunod ay bacon strips.
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to press the like button. Um, if you want more content like this, why not subscribe and press the notification button. If you want more content and other different food that I can make, comment down below. Um, kung gusto niyo pa lang mga gumawa pa ng churros, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye!